Ask Neil to disprove the flat earth theory. Uh, a couple of things. <laughs> during Ramadan, you fast during the day yep. and you eat at sunset. Do you know in Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, mm -hmm. they issue a table, depending on what floor you're on, it's a different time that the sun sets. So if you had a higher floor, you have to eat a little later than those who live on a lower floor. And that can only happen if earth is round. Yeah. And not only that, and I did this back when we had a World Trade Center, so it was perfectly positioned facing Jersey. I have photos and you can watch the sunset up the World Trade Center. It goes one floor per second. And so it's 107 flights up. So it take about two minutes for the sun to fully set uh -huh. for those looking beyond the curvature oh. of the earth. It's also, we're in New York City. Yep. We've watched football games in the winter taking place in California where the sun was still up. Mercury's orbit is not following what it should. That's the closest planet to the sun. But we've been down that path before. Just throw in another planet that we can't see and that'll fix it. Thus was introduced planet Vulcan. This would be a planet very close to the sun. So close it'd be hard to see, it'd be lost in the glare. No one found it. Einstein comes along, comes up with his theory of motion and his theory of gravity, which are corrections to Newton's laws in these extreme regimes. If you're near the sun, the sun has very strong gravity. If you're moving around and that's strong strong force of gravity, Newton's laws begin to fail. And you look at Einstein's laws, and he says, Mercury's orbit will not follow Newton's laws, it'll follow this other path. And it exactly explained the deviations of Mercury.